In part two of our series where we learn how to solve word problems involving vectors, we'll focus on velocity vector word problems. Let's start with question number one. The question reads, a river flows at a rate of 4.70 kilometers per hour. A rower who can travel 7.51 kilometers per hour in still water heads directly across the current. Take a look. Here's the boat and he's going across the river against the current which is going upwards. He's going to the right. That is, the boat remains pointed perpendicular to the current while being carried downstream by it. Find the actual rate and direction of travel for the boat. So we're told that there's a current pushing him at 4.70 km per hour and he's moving 7.51. To find out the speed in this direction, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. This question is not that hard. In fact, we have the hypotenuse here, one of the legs here, and the other leg here. So let's go ahead and write it out. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. 7.51 will be replaced with a, and b will be replaced with 4.70. And this is equal to c squared, which is what we're looking for. Now we'll simplify, so we will find out what the left side is equal to. 7.51 raised to the power of 2 plus 4.70 raised to the power of 2 We'll square root both sides and make sure that our answer is three significant figures. Everything after this five is insignificant, but since the number following five is a nine, this gets rounded up. So we're left with eight decimal eight six. Eight decimal eight six. This means that this traveler is moving in this direction eight decimal eight six kilometers per hour. Now of course we need to find the angle and we can do that by using any trigonometric function. I'll use the trigonometric function that relates adjacent and opposite because those were the given values. You always want to use given values rather than ones that you found. So we have adjacent and our opposite is 4 decimal 70. So I have a and o, that's tangent. Tangent theta is equal to my adjacent of 7 decimal 51 over 4 decimal 70 and I'll use inverse trigonometric function here, inverse tangent, for 7.51 divided by 4.70, and we get an angle of 57.96, and to three significant figures, that should be 58.0. Those are the answers to question number one. Now we'll move on to question two. A certain escalator travels at a rate of 10.6 meters per minute and its angle of inclination is 32.5 degrees. What is the vertical component of the velocity and how long will it take a passenger to travel 10.0 meters vertically? Let's do an illustration. So we have an escalator, these are found at malls, and it travels at a rate of 10.6 meters per minute at 32.5 degrees. What we have to do is find the vertical component, and the reason why that's important is so that we can answer the next part of the question. To find the vertical component, which is this part, we need to relate the angle opposite and the hypotenuse, which is 10.6. Opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So we have sine 32.5. Opposite is what we're looking for, let's call it x. And the hypotenuse is 10.6. To find x, we multiply both sides by 10.6. So we have 10.6 times sine at 32.5. We end up with 5.695. And this 9 will go up because it's followed by a 5. 5.70 meters per minute. That is the speed vertically as one of the components. I'll take this speed, and a speed is a rate, so you can use it as a conversion factor. But rather than having 5.70 meters per minute, where the minutes is at the bottom and the meters is at the top, I'll put one minute at the top and 5.70 meters at the bottom. And then I'll multiply this by 10.0 meters. The reason why I flipped this is because now this unit and this unit will cancel out because this one's at the top and this one's at the bottom. We'll be left with minutes, which is what we're looking for. So we have 10 decimal zero divided by five decimal 70, and we end up with 
one decimal seven five. So it takes one minute decimal seventy five to reach ten meters vertically. And there you have it. That is how to solve word problems involving velocity vectors.